Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. As I was finishing the other video, God dropped this nugget in my mind. You remember the movie Shawshank Redemption? He fought for his freedom. He dug, he scratched, he swam through muck and mire to get his freedom. Did he not? All right. Now, this is what I want to share with you. Sometimes God wants to heal us. He's ready. It's time. And we're not quite ready to go through what we think we'll have to deal with to get on the other side of that healing. Do it. Is, am I right or am I wrong? For example, what stood between him and his freedom was a very thick, long wall. He had to go through piping and plumbing and lower himself into how many miles of sewage. And you can't imagine what was in that sewage. Human waste, garbage, decay. I mean, we don't even want to go there with our imagination because it could get real nauseating to think about what he had to swim through to get out on the other side where the freedom was. Well, there's one thing you don't realize. God is not going to make you swim through sewage to get to your freedom. However, he will make you confront your pain. He will make you face the truth about why you feel this way, that way, or the other way. Why you react. Why you, why what that, what that person said bothers you so much. Why that person bothers you so much. And you will realize that you have a lot of potholes in your soul. And God wants to fill those holes up. Or else you will continue to spring leaks everywhere and mess all over everybody that tries to get close to you. Ergo, the saying, or shall I say, hence the saying, hurting people hurt people. And that is a given. So, here's another little thing for you to think about. When you know that you're in that kind of state and you're in relationship with your relatives, your family members, your, your um, distant relatives, your friends, your co-workers, your church members, whatever, you're still raw and it seems like there are certain ones, think about this now, it seems like there are certain ones that always get on your last nerve. They always say that. And they always say it like that. They always try to push my buttons. They're so sarcastic. They always have to give me a dig here and a dig there. And Am, am, I, am I sounding like some of you right now? Okay, think about it now. Not only does that person give you digs, but it seems like every time you get in those conversations when they're trying to maybe help you out or they're trying to help you iron out some of the details of your cluttered or confu of confused life and, and some of your issues, you look at them as if to think, uh -huh. so now you're going to straighten me out because I'm so messed up. Well, maybe they're not saying you're messed up. Maybe they really are concerned about you. But you take it as a put down. And that's not where they're coming from. But you can't see that. Because you're very sensitive in that area. And they're the ones that always step on those same corns. They're always stepping all over you. 
And then what happens? You attack them because you are springing leaks everywhere. So now you're messing all over them and you're hurting and hurting people hurt people. So what do you do? Lash out and you tell them off and you get them back and you put them in their place. And they're like, you got issues with me. What the heck is, what did I do? And y'all need to iron out some stuff. But you're too proud to even admit that you have issues. That's sad, you know that? That's sad. Because a beautiful, a potentially beautiful relationship with someone who truly loves you and who you really love can be flushed right down the toilet because you are so caught up in your issues you can't see their heart whatever it is there's a scripture that says to the defiled all things are defiled you can't see the beauty for expecting the rotten egg you're ducking for the rotten tomatoes. You're bracing for the impact. You're you're afraid of of when the ax is gonna fall. There is no ax. There's no rotten potatoes. I mean, no rotten tomatoes. There's, There's nothing that's aimed at you, but that's what you expect because you are raw and you need healing. When someone wants to uh, reconcile with you and they really say they didn't mean what you thought they meant, take them at their word. Nine times out of ten, it's not them. It's you. I hope that helps you. Take those things to God and ask him, Lord, what's wrong with me? Why do I trip so hard off of what she says off of what he does when he does that like that when he comes in like with uh, just help me lord because i think i make things a lot worse and i need help